Wee doggies. Freezing out here. Winter weather, you gotta love it. <laughs> What's up guys? I just wanted to share a quick update. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as I can. I have been going through palpitations and chest pain for the last few days now, since November 29th. And it was because of my bad eating habit. It's been going off the rails again, especially with Thanksgiving time. <laughs> uh, I can't get a focus. Thanksgiving food, and when it wasn't Thanksgiving, like uh, I'd be eating salty popcorn and so on. Tisk tisk. So yeah, that's the big part for causing palpitations, chest pain. Started with the palpitations, and it felt like. I was gonna have a heart attack or something at that moment. Scary stuff. And I've gone through that uh, palpitations attack moment before several times in the past. So I was pacing back and forth. I calmed myself down. And after that, it's just been chest pain I've been feeling each day. Yeah. A tickly feel going on, a pressuring feel, like a little heavy feel. And the pain would be, if I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, it'd be in the middle. So not severe. It's uncomfortable. And breathing issue. Again, in the middle, not severe, thank goodness. So yesterday morning, that's when I finally went to an urgent care. Uh, they did my blood pressure, oxygen to the finger. Damn, I'm almost feeling a palpitation right now. Uh, must be this cold air or something. Anyway, so blood pressure, oxygen to the finger, those were looking good. And then they did an EKG, ECG, I think that's what that's called. Not EKG, I always get it confused, but either one. Uh, had that done, the test results came out abnormal. So I was freaking out there. The doctor told me to go to the ER and definitely to get in contact with my primary doctor to see him. So, went to the ER in the afternoon. The test they did on me there was blood work, x-rays on my chest area, an EKG, making this my second one, uh, COVID test. <laughs> I don't know why they gave me a COVID test. I guess it was for safety and because I was around sick people there. Ah, uh, blood pressure, another oxygen to the finger. All the tests came back looking good. What the doctor told me was acid reflux related. You know, I've always felt acid reflux, so yeah. And it makes sense because uh, the gas that was built up each day and my stomach too, affecting that. The doctor at the ER gave me a prescription for a medicine and told me to follow up with my primary doctor, which is definitely gonna do and mention about a cardiologist, which hopefully my primary can refer me to one, to check for stress to my body, uh, straining and whatnot. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, when they weighed me at the urgent care, they didn't weigh me at the ER, but at the urgent care, my weight was 231. So yeah, I've definitely gained some weight there. Ugh. Couple months to a few months back, when I was last weighed, it was 223 or 224 in that area. I've screwed up. <laughs> I've really got to do things better and get my diet back on track more. Yeah. That's not to say I still can't enjoy some occasional bad food in between. It just has to be limited moderations, which I keep forgetting to do sometimes. Back in my room. <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. I had to get out of that freezing garage. <laughs> anyway. There will be more videos on the way, whenever, <laughs> from time to time. Gonna try and take it easy, uh, still being active, but taking it easy. And try to be better food-wise and whatnot. Oh, if anyone has any suggestions on how to deal with acid reflux, uh, you know, with healthier foods and other options, uh, you know, I'm open to reading comments there, so. Putting my head over to this side to cover up that glare or light. <laughs> anyway, 
that is going to do it for this video, and thanks for watching. In the words of Chucky, you can't keep a good guy down. <laughs> oh, I love that show, Chucky. Who's watched season one? Can't wait for season two, man. <laughs> There's still more footage to see. <laughs> what you're about to see is stuff I shot when I was at the urgent care yesterday and the time I got back and then after my visit to the ER. So, yep, here we go. What's up, guys? I am at the urgent care right now. I've been having palpitations and chest pain for the last few days now since the 29th of November. I just did an EKG on me right so uh, waiting on the results but uh, with the scary moment I had on the 29th around 4 or 5 o'clock with the palpitations you know it was like uh, yeah, and so I was pacing back and forth again and just uh, calming it down trying to calm it down and I, I managed to calm it down but after it would just be a chest pain damn fly buzzing around uh, but I just got back right now and the EKG results came out bad abnormal so the doctor told me I have to go to the ER now and I have to definitely check with my primary doctor oh the ER with the pandemic going on uh, this is serious though this is more serious uh, I've really done it this time food I've been eating and the stress I've been having off and on you know it just all builds up it's straining myself a lot and, but definitely the food was but now is not the time for thinking what I should have done differently and this and that you know I'm blaming myself I gotta stop doing that the chest pain has a ticklish feel going on here a little issue with breathing all right I just got out of the ER a bit ago. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to find a place, making sure it's a good pickup spot. <laughs> but otherwise, it would have been hard for an Uber to find me at the hospital. <laughs> ah, damn it. Almost tripped on a stick. <laughs> anyway, so what's going on here with my chest pain and the palpitations, you know? From what the doctor told me at the ER, it's all acid reflux related. They did blood work and it came out looking good. Uh, an EKG and it was looking good. Even though the first EKG from the urgent care said abnormal in the results. So what the hell? Okay, and then they did x-rays at the ER and oh, I had a COVID test done. They shoved the thing in the nose. <laughs> and i don't have covid <laughs> i was prescribed something and have to see my primary doctor uh, hanging out at carl's jr right now waiting for the uber to come pick me up so yeah <clears throat> ah the uber driver looked like that one dude from jurassic park and this uber driver was a psychopath ran a bunch of red lights almost got into a couple wrecks Claimed that his wife left him for the mailman and caught them screwing in the back of the mail truck. Then claims that he was abducted by aliens and probed and that a bunny rabbit hopped out his ass. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. <laughs>